The black cloud in the Gulf of Mexico is growing by the minute. With up to 5,000 barrels of oil pouring into the water, that's 210,000 gallons each day, enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every four days. This could be one of the world's greatest nightmare scenarios of an oil gusher. Today, Senator Bill Nelson sent the president a letter reminding him that in 2000, the Interior Department insisted oil companies have reliable backup systems in the event of a rig blowout. By 2003, the plan was scrapped. Here's how it could have helped. When an oil rig fails and starts leaking, a valve deep under the water where the drill pipe meets the ocean floor is supposed to choke off the flow of oil. Either it wasn't activated or didn't work, possibly because of the explosion. But there is another line of defense this oil platform did not have, a so-called acoustic switch. It can be activated by remote control, sending acoustic pulses through the water to trigger the blowout preventer if the rig is damaged or evacuated. Acoustic switches are now used in Norway and Brazil after those oil-producing countries suffered spills. The U.S. considered requiring them, but drilling companies questioned the $500,000 cost and whether the devices even work. There are multiple safety devices which should have uh, brought the flow to, uh, to a cease when the event happened. So we shouldn't actually assume that this acoustic switch would have also caused it to stop. The spill in the Gulf comes at a time when President Obama is calling for a major expansion of offshore drilling. Today, Florida's Senator Nelson said not so fast, proposing legislation to temporarily halt the president's plan. The administration now says everything is back on the table as that black cloud in the Gulf continues to spread. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.